one is about adding just enough color. This is all about context. So I think in human resources, our, our work has to be about adding business context. Because you can just come in at a left field with a, with a solution or a program of the week, you know, you're not going to get that ever accepted. So you have to constantly be providing a little bit more data, more input to how we think about the work that we do every day. And I've got plenty of examples here. And I, I say there's a couple that were, were important for me uh, and they were learning. So when I was at Cisco, I had supported an operations team um, that had lots of cats and dogs in it. It had COO, the main, uh, supply chain, business development, legal, HR at the time, it was reporting up to the COO, um, IT, uh, it was just a whole different group of people in this in this organization. And at the top, I thought, what if, what if we create like a collective leadership council where we're all kind of looking at the top 40 to 50 folks in the business and help them grow and build an operating, horizontal operating thread. Um, and it was this great idea I had, and yet I didn't get the right stakeholder support. And I kept coming in with this, this fully baked program, which at the end of the day, they are just like, we're not, we're not similar, we're very dissimilar. And to try and manage a portfolio of talent makes no sense for us. If you want to do it, maybe legal, IT, and HR comes together, or manufacturing, IT, COO, whatever. But I was pushing this agenda, and I didn't provide the necessary context, and I didn't get the right sort of st stakeholder support, and I was leading through advocacy versus inquiry. And that's really, really important. Next one is data, and so it's, you know, data is, is, not, is, is table stakes for HR. Many years ago, I think sometimes people thought of HR as warm and soft and fuzzy and having no data chops or business chops, and I never felt that way, but I think that sometimes was the perception, and I think now it is absolutely uh, what we ex are expected to show up at the table all the time with the right kind of data. And I think what happens very often is we get so enamored with the data that we, we're not telling the story. And you have to really not just look at the data, but look at what does it really mean and how do you bring people into that so that you're all seeing through the same lens. So, you know, it's the bright, shiny thing, and I, I love the notion of it because it will make things more product, pr predictable and productive. Um, but I worry because I think we're jumping into something with that, maybe perhaps realizing some of the consequences. So it's a great New York Times article, it's a quick read, and it talks about the commonality of AI and diversity and the fact that humans program AI. Right? And then the code proliferates and, and much faster than if it was just on a spreadsheet. And what can happen is, without realizing, we could be putting bias into the system. 